Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Hey guys, what's your favorite thing? Thing away. That's my favorite thing too. Sleep all the way down deep. Anyways, my name's I'm a new guy, virtual insist, helping you to transform your game and life to the next level. In this video, what I'm going to do is just like with Julie Andrews' My Favorite Things song, is to take you through a journey of all your favorite things. Whether it's a place, a time, a food, or an experience, to help give you a total sense of relaxation, familiarity, and happiness. So when there's sad times or bad times, that you'll be able to go through them all the same, whether it's the holidays or any day. To follow along, all you have to do is make sure that you can hear me clearly with headphones on for the best listening experience, and making sure you're in a time and place where you can safely relax or even fall asleep. If you have no clue about hypnosis at all, you can quickly check out the link in the video above before coming right back. Other than that, I really do hope you enjoy, and in a moment, I'm going to take you down under to the world of hypnosis and VR. Enjoy. Anybody who wants to follow along right now, just take a nice big deep breath all the way in. And then slowly, slower, let it all the way, breathing out. And again, breathing slowly and filling up to the top. And then slowly, slower, letting it all the way deeper and deeper out. Further and further deep. Then one last time, breathing all the way in. Feeling just like a balloon all the way in your side of your chest. Then pop, slowly letting it all the way out. A single stream of air, like you're trying to blow a stream, a line of air across the room. And you're doing absolutely great. And absolutely fantastic. Just noticing how for each and every single breath, deeply in and deeply out, your lungs, your chest grows heavier and more and more relaxed. I'm just going to count down from five down to one. Over each and every single step of the way, you can start to slowly, slowly start to close your eyes. Only as fast as you find yourself relaxing even deeper, feeling even better, listening even more closely to the sound of my voice. And when I say the word sleep, it doesn't mean you go unconscious, it doesn't mean that you actually pass out or fall asleep or lose control, but that you're nice, tight, and focused right now on the sound of my voice, while letting everything from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes just loosen, like a puppet cutting its strings. Five, four, three, two, one, and sleep. All the way down deep. Deeper and deeper and deep. All the way down, all the way deep, all the way fast asleep. Drifting, dreaming, floating, flying to a very nice and pleasant place. And each and every single time you fall asleep, you drift down that you focus in, that you zone in on my voice, that you go down to trance, like this. You can go down twice as fast, twice as deep, each and every single time that I say the word sleep. All the way down deeper, in the most comfortable position. And you can rearrange yourself if you need to, make it the most physically comfortable position ever. And once you're all settled in, you can just drop down even deeper than before, each and every single time. And right now, I just want you to realize, as long as you're accepting of these suggestions, that throughout the duration of this, each and every single thing can and may become your reality. But any parts that you find uncomfortable, <clears throat> too personal or anything like that, you can let just those go right over your head, 
right, right on through you. But as long as everything I'm saying is good, happy, fun, helpful, useful to you right now, you can let my words sink in twice as fast, twice as deep right now. Splashing, splooshing into the middle of the lake of your consciousness, of your subconsciousness. And right now, all I want you to do is just think of your favorite color. Your favorite color. And if you don't have a favorite color, you can think of your favorite shade. Whether it's light or dark. Do you like being wrapped in lightness or in darkness? Just think of your favorite color. What that means to you. What, what that feels to you. What it sounds to you. What that feeling, everything that color brings to your life. How it makes you smile. How it makes you feel like you know. And how it's so special to you. Your favorite thing. Your favorite color. And just imagine that your entire world view, your entire world right now is being tinged in all hues of that color you can imagine. That you love, that you like. Like a big colorful blanket wrapping around you. Keeping you warm and safe. Right now. Or cool and safe, depending on when you're listening to this. But right now, the perfect temperature for you. Wrapping around you. The safe, comfortable color. The familiar color. Wrapping around you. A sense of security, familiarity, radiating. From that color, all the way around you, and all the way inside of you, deeper, deeper, and deeper deep, just like that. <clears throat> and imagine just like you're putting that right next to you, or if you're watching this in material underneath like a Christmas tree, like a present for yourself. Because there's no wrong time to be treating yourself. There's no wrong time for you to have a taste of your favorite things. And speaking of taste, even if you might get a little hungry for this, what I want you to do is think of your favorite food now. Your favorite food. The smell of it. The texture. The mouthfeel. And how tasty or how it makes you feel full with something your parents cooked for you or something you got from your favorite restaurant or something you like making for yourself your favorite fruit all the senses of that right now filling up your mind and it has to be not just any favorite food one that really puts a smile on your face and when you see it and when you eat it and when you finish it they just have a smile on from beginning to finish. It's not something that makes you feel crappy at the end. Or something you don't like looking at at first. Or something you don't like eating in the middle. Something from start all the way to finish that you really enjoy eating. And you like having made for you. Or making for yourself. And just feeling the satisfaction. All those memories of that favorite food. That satisfaction filling up your mind right now. Putting a smile on your face. And a hint of looking forward to the next time you can eat it. And it's like that right now. Just like the blanket. Just like the colors. It's all wrapped up. Into a nice big package. Into a box. Almost like a gift. In place right next to you. On the tree as a gift. All these favorite things slowly beginning to pile up more and more and more. 
And now, right now, just thinking of of your favorite animal. Whether it's something you like to see and you get so excited to see it, like at a zoo, or being a favorite pet, pet animal. One you just love to hug and cuddle. Or something you just like the aspects of. Something that you see yourself as being. Like, I want to be a dragon. I want to be a bear. Your favorite animal just comes up to your mind. And those favorite aspects of it just popping out as well. Whether it's something that's really furry and fuzzy and feels really good to pat, to feel and to nuzzle against. Or something that you just really admire, like a strong lion. And you want to be a strong lion. You want to roar just like one. That favorite animal. Just feeling it. All getting gently boxed up again. Nicely and safely. And put on that train right next to you. Nice gift. Your favorite things. Slowly piling up. More and more, each and every single one radiating a sense of safety, calm, comfort, familiarity, right now, just for you. And as you are taking those feelings right now, think about your favorite game, your favorite game. Where you had the most fun, either with by yourself or friends, or maybe both, multiplayer, single player. Doesn't matter if it's on console or PC, online or offline. Your favorite game, the best moments. Maybe it's a story that really, really spoke to your heart, or maybe it was something really epic. That you did in a multiplayer match. All the best favorite moments. All the 360 no scopes. All the best lines. All of it circling around you. Like you're viewing screenshots of a slideshow. Of the of your best gamer moments in that game. And that can just bring a smile to your face as well. Wrapping up into a box and put alongside everything else. All of your favorite things piling up, making you feel great, making you feel good. Each and every single time you come back to them, each and every single time you look at them and you experience them and you feel them. And one by one by one, all the things, a favorite place, sights, sounds, smells, foods, peoples. If you don't have one, that's fine. If you can't think of anything, that's fine as well. Whatever made you feel good. Maybe there's too many for you to choose from. You can box all of them up. You don't have to choose. This is all of your favorite things, not just one of them. As paradoxical as that may be, you can box everything up and shove them underneath right next to you, ready to open. And as you're listening and drifting along, your favorite music or songs or bands or artists, albums, CDs, MP3s, music videos, all the notes that make your ears tingle in just the right way, all the lyrics that are plucking your heartstrings like a guitar. All the songs that mean something to you and are your favorite and make you feel good. 
all those being gently wrapped up, bundled up into vinyls, into CDs, into a box, and still emitting those sounds, gently putting them underneath the tree next to you. All of your favorite things piling up higher and higher and higher just for you. Further in and further deep. And maybe a favorite accomplishment. Something you did. Something you did great. Something you did good. Maybe you got praised. Maybe it was a milestone in a project. Or a training you did. Or an accomplishment at work. Or something even something very simple. It doesn't have to necessarily be your favorite, but something that out of all the moments you had in the past week, the past month or year, in twenty twenty one or elsewhere. <clears throat> a time where you you didn't. You did the thing. And of all the moments, the favorite things you did, all the highlights that you want to circle around and say, I did a thing. Just take that up, gently wrap it. All the good feelings inside, putting into the nice box, the gift wrap, and putting it on top of the pile as well. All of your favorite things. Piling up higher and higher and higher, radiating familiarity, warmth, comfort, safety, joy, peace, and everything in between. Maybe your favorite person as well. Someone who's made you smile, whether you, whether you know them personally or not. And again, it doesn't have to be someone personal, someone in your actual life. It could be someone that you're admiring from off afar. But just taking all those good memories you have and gently wrapping them up further in and further deep, holding it close to you. As part of the big pile of all your favorite things. And just like the song says, it doesn't have to be anything super big. It could be all the small little things in your life. The things that you just draw to over and over because it's your favorite. Maybe a certain outfit or dress. Maybe a certain sound you like to hear. Like birds chirping or crickets at night. All the little simple things in life, the, li the things in life that give all the little bumps, all the details, all the things that you have a very hard time getting tired of because it's your favorite thing. And those can all be the small decorations, smaller gifts to yourself. Bundling, keeping them very nice and safe. And not for anyone else. No one can take them from you. They're yours. Your favorite things. Because they mean something to you. They're not an X person's favorite thing. They're not Y person's favorite things. They're yours. All very important gifts. And keep them all nice and close. And that pile is at the core of where you are, of who you are. Anytime 
when you're feeling bad, when you're feeling sad. Just as the song says, you can always come back and think and look upon and smile about your favorite things. Open them up one by one, like gifts from the past to your present self. Even if it's not that many, it's still something. It doesn't have to be Christmas. It doesn't have to be your birthday. Any day is a great day for your favorite things. For you. You see all the boxes slowly opening up. Showering you of all the good feelings. And letting this all sink in. Deeper and deeper and deep. Right now. As you wake up in the count of five. The higher you wake up, the deeper all these things sink down. And whether it's the holidays or anything outside of it, I hope your favorite things keep you company for a very, very long time. One, two, three, four, and five. All the way up. Wakey, wakey. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more, I hope you can try subscribing. It's free. You can always change mine later. And if you think someone else could benefit from listening to this, do share with others. It really helps out. Aside from that, a big thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping to make the making of this video possible. As always, thanks and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.